are responsible for yourself and what happened on the last show. Take accountability for yourself. Why come back if you felt unsafe? Did you not research the show before you came on the first time? I didn't. That's correct. Well, hold on there. Nick, could you pull up uh, layer six? So this is your very first message to us requesting to be on the show back May, May 30th of 2024. Uh, you're going to have to put this in the corner. That's, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. You, uh, if you want to read it, you can. You can read it back to yourself. Um, I don't have my glasses. I can go get my glasses. Okay. I can't see it. Maddie, can you read it? Yeah. A friend referred me to you guys to join your podcast for a very interesting episode on how I basically solved all of world problems simply by flipping the script of the patriarchy and going back to a system where women do the choosing. I'm a savant social scientist model and a good old American made single mom of three trying to get my bills paid out here in a man's world. I could really use some exposure to bring in money and it's just a super interesting topic that I could go on about as it's near and dear to my heart. I mean, so you reached out to us. So that's what I thought that I would be discussing. You did discuss that. But I mean, the show. I, I thought it would be respected. What would be respected? My views. Well, we we have a panel of people who will provide pre-show notes. Some of the topics that they request to speak on, if it's pertinent to the theme of our show, we'll bring it up. We did bring up quite a bit of some of the things you discussed. I, did you? Were you under the impression it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one interview? Yeah. There's, I didn't that's know not that possible. It, I didn't know that it was a panel show. I mean, every single clip. I don't. Have, I didn't watch any of the clips. I honestly didn't know anything okay. about the show, and I do well, take that responsibility. To, that's entirely on you. I know. I understand. On the very Instagram that you sent uh, that you sent us a DM to requesting to be on the show, there are clips on that Instagram. We don't post a bunch. There are clips indicating that it's a panel show. There's multiple people I, again, on the panel. Again, I take responsibility You can watch for that. full live streams. I take streams. responsibility. I literally we didn't. We don't hide anything with this show. Anybody can just click Brian, the first link. I Hold understand. on, you guys. Stop interrupting. Anybody can click the first link, go directly to the YouTube channel. At the very top, it's going to show the full live I streams. I didn't do it. That's on you. I know. I'm, 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 if I'm, I'm, if I'm, I'm going on the show, on I'm going to do research. I get it. I'm saying it's on me. That was my bad. Right, but you, I wouldn't, you cannot then blame. I wouldn't. You no. cannot shift the blame on us that you felt like you didn't know what you're getting into. You didn't. You didn't see one clip. No, I didn't. Not my thing. Well, I mean, you okay? Um, I mean, I don't remember the. It was a seven or eight hour show. I don't remember everything that was talked about. We talk about various you, things dating related. Well, she, she was able to, you did bring up the idea of patriarchy, the reversal, uh, how you're living in a man's world. You brought up a ton of uh, very interesting psychological ideas. You brought up a lot. It just seems to me like every time you were challenged on them. So what it looks like from my perspective is that I don't mind talking about these ideas. I think that it's fun to talk about ideas like that. But I have noticed this trend and pattern of women who, if their ideas get challenged, they get really upset to the point where they begin to think that they are personally being attacked rather than the idea they're espousing. And they can't make the delineation between the two. The idea which I'm saying and the me, which one is actually being attacked here. And I think it's fine to attack ideas without personally attacking the person. Do you understand that men and women are not built the same? Yes. Okay, so a lot of the problem is I wasn't even designed to have a debate with you. Were you designed to be in politics? No. Were you designed to be in leadership roles? Were you designed to vote? Were you designed to pick the government which is going to rule people? Were you designed for no. any of that? No. Well, then why? So then women probably shouldn't participate in any well, of those I, avenues, I, well, right? Well, let me clarify. I was designed to take a leadership role, yes. I do not believe that divine humanity was made to have a government. I don't believe that American governmental structure is divine. I believe that's man-made. 
Yeah, perhaps it is, but I, I, I guess kind of the point and core here is if you think that women, men and women are different, I agree. Totally, hang on, totally agree. Now that the thing men is, women are that, that, hang on, that hang on, men let me no finish longer my point. protect I just women. You. It's not divine masculinity. I, I, I get it, but let me finish my point and then I'll get back to you. If it is true that you think that Private women are different Nick. than men, and I agree that they are, and that women aren't even equipped to have their ideas challenged. They're not actually even equipped to have their ideas challenged. Why in the f-ing world would we ever let them lead a dog down the street? No, you're, you're misinterpreting it. We were not designed to have a man who does not love and respect us. Um, so for example, you don't know me from anybody. You don't have any emotional connection to me. Mm-hmm. You don't have any depth of understanding of who I am as a being. So therefore, I wasn't made to hold you accountable or you weren't made to hold me accountable. You don't even know me. Your own wife should be holding you accountable and putting you in your place if you need that. Just like my own, the men that know me in my life that, let's just say we have a soul connection. Those were the only men that I was designed Chris to actually... Chris donated $100. Yeah. She wasn't designed to admit when she is wrong. This is her real issue. She can't take an L and admit fault and will lash out. Put a one in the chat if you think her children should be taken away. Crazy. We don't condone some of the uh, messages that are coming through, by the way. Anyway, go on. Thank you for the TTS, though. We're not operating in a world right now that is going by the rules of divine humanity. Shut up. So I am simply a woman trying to survive this. Yeah, I understand that. But I, I'm, I'm also saying that all the actions that you take are interconnected with the actions of the rest of humanity, mm. which do affect my life, like True. it or not. Yeah. It does affect my life. True. And so if you to say to me, like, look, Andrew, there, there needs to be an interpersonal relationship for correction. It's like, that's fair. But there is an interpersonal uh, relationship for correction because, unfortunately, the millions who think like you affect me. Whether I like it or not, they still affect my life. I have never met anybody who thinks like me. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, is that they have, women have political power. Women can move political goalposts. They can. But are they actually they can do those feminine things. embodiments or are they just masculine embodiments? They're in feminine a embodiments if they believe that having any of their worldviews challenged, any of their worldviews challenged is an assault on them because their feelings must be validated instead of mm-hmm. the idea. That is very feminine in nature. 